All right, hello. We are Team 34, pressure mapping in a shoe. I'm Grant Phillips. I'm Connor Perks. I'm Michael Wynn. I'm Andrew Gion. So our project was to create a high definition pressure mapping insert in a shoe that would be able to perform gait analysis. So basically, it can fix your form if you're an athlete or prevent injuries, or if you have some type of debilitative disease and need to relearn how to walk, it can assist you in getting your form back to normal. So the first part of our implementation of our device would be the sensor. We use a uh, silver nanowire capacitive sensor, so that is tiny pieces of silver are inlaid into a PDMS, and uh, it creates, we create channels that cross, and each cross is a capacitor. And it is, the nice thing about the silver nanowire is that it is flexible and can be stretched up to 1.5 times its original size and still hold a connection, which is perfect for inside a shoe. And the next it moves up to, it is read with a circuit, which Andrew will explain. Okay. So the circuit we use, since we're uh, measuring capacitance, we have to use a specific an uh, analog to digital converter called a capacitor to digital converter, which uses a, a special sigma delta algorithm in order to uh, convert the capacitive signal into 12 bits of digital data. And since we have 32 points on the sensor, we use an analog multiplexer uh, to measure each point at 5 milliseconds uh, in order to create a 160 millisecond scan of the whole sensor. And uh, the, ADC, the CDC communicated with the microcontroller using I2C, and then we could serially uh, uh, transmit the data to a computer or use SBI to an SD card for later data uh, management. So as far as the enclosure goes, you can't stick anything on your shoe or on your ankle while you're running because that will irreparably ruin your form. So we decided on an above the calf placement of the sensor, which through treadmill testing and running around outside we found will not slide down and will house the mechanics or the circuit in a pretty good spot. Now the one thing that Nike told us, which was a challenge that we didn't quite overcome is a weight issue. So if you want to put something on your leg and then not affect your form, it has to be under 100 grams. We came in at about 126, 127 grams, which given time and resources, we could definitely optimize to get within that range. So once we collect the data, it goes to our post-processing. So in terms of when we gather our data, we interfaced everything on the computer through Python. Python was good for working with large amounts of data, process everything, and you know, get it clean and be able to automate it to display on this heat map that we have on the screen. So on the screen we have two different types of data. We have data from our sponsor that we compared to where when we step through it, you can see that going through the whole foot motion from the heel to the toe. And then comparing it to ours, you can see the beginning stages of it right here at the heel and then eventually ending at the toe. So our greatest challenge was uh, actually signal mixing from the sensor. So um, basically, since, since uh, each trace intersects on one, one sensor pad, a signal from a particular spot could affect another signal. In order to do that, we had to compensate using code and using hardware as well. And that included in, uh, putting delays at some point and using uh, uh, some circuits to modify the signal and drop it down to range. And uh, that was our biggest challenge so far. I think the biggest project man management skills that we were able to learn and, and you know, affected us was being able to keep a plan for the whole thing. Um, you have to be able to see all the issues that you might run into. You have to think about all the problems that you might run into or the and the timeline of everything, I think it's good to keep a good timeline. And yeah, I think we, we definitely learned how it is to work as a team, how it is to depend on everybody and you know, integrate the system as a whole.